jumped out. She was like, duh, duh, duh. and I'm like, wait, what are you doing? That's, stuff, that's me and Jay Z stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. Don't come so, who wasn't there? It, me, I'm talking to Jay. Talking to Lodge wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, yo, yeah, you lucky Lodge, Lodge wasn't there. Lodge was there. I would have had a, a uh, reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, buckle up, folks, because it looks like we're far from done with the Jay-Z and Beyonce saga. 50 Cent just dropped his two cents on the situation, and let me tell you, it's turning everything we thought we knew upside down. You know how everyone's been pointing fingers at Jay-Z, accusing him of being the master manipulator, pulling strings behind the scenes, and allegedly coercing Beyonce into some shady dealings? Turns out, according to 50 Cent, we've had it all wrong. He's stepping up to spill the beans, claiming that not only is Beyonce just as bad as Jay-Z, but she might even be worse, and he's dishing out some pretty shocking examples of her alleged antics. But hold on to your hats, cause 50 Cent's not done yet. He's shining a spotlight on Beyonce's alleged scheme to make Jay-Z take the fall for their messiness. Yep, he's suggesting that by divorcing him, she's setting him up for failure, ready to toss him under the bus when the going gets tough. And let me tell you, this revelation's got us all reeling. Could this be why Jay-Z's been on a love-professing spree lately? Seems like there's a whole lot more to this story than meets the eye. So let's break this tea down. Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got where you are, how you stepped on the many people. Beyonce, how you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career because she said something about you. That's how hateful you guys are, how you step on anybody to stay on the top. All right, so grab a seat, folks, because Hollywood's serving up some juicy drama, especially when it comes to Jay-Z and Beyonce. If you've somehow missed out on the latest scoop about this powerhouse couple, buckle up because it's been one wild ride. For a hot minute now, rumors have been swirling that Beyonce's seriously thinking about calling it quits with Jay-Z. And let me tell you, it's been a roller coaster of drama. Initially, a lot of folks speculated that Beyonce had had enough of Jay-Z's alleged manipulation and exploitation. I mean, there have been whispers circulating for ages about Jay-Z not being the most upstanding guy, dabbling in all sorts of shady dealings behind the scenes. Now, I won't dive into all the nitty-gritty details of Jay-Z's alleged misdeeds, because chances are you've caught wind of the rumors yourself. But it's no secret that people have long suspected Beyonce might be caught up in his mess, especially considering her perfect public image and how young she was when they first got together. Beyonce spilled the beans in an interview, saying, I was 18 when we first met, 19 when we started dating. There was no rush no one expected me to run off and get married. They officially started dating when Beyonce was 19 and Jay-Z was 31, a substantial age gap that had fans buzzing with some even tossing around speculations. But here's where things take a darker turn. In a 2007 interview with Charlie Rose, Jay-Z mentioned meeting Beyonce 10 years ago, placing their first encounter in 1997. Now, if we do the math, Beyonce would have been just 16 years old at the time. Chile, depending on the exact timing, she could have even been 15. And let's not forget, Jay Jay-Z was in his late 20s, around 27 or 28. The idea of a man his age pursuing a teenager like Beyonce? Shady doesn't even begin to cover it. As a result, many folks see Beyonce as a victim in all of this. Whenever Jay-Z's in the hot seat for his allegedly shady actions, Beyonce often gets sidelined in the conversation. Even when there are allegations about the couple using their influence to sabotage others' careers in the industry, the spotlight tends to shine more on Jay-Z, while Beyonce gets a pass, being the media's darling and all. But hold up, cause 50 Cent ain't having any of that. Nope, he's ready to spill the tea and set the record straight. When blogger Storm Monroe dropped the bomb a couple of months back, painting Beyonce as the hero for finally cutting ties with Jay-Z, everyone jumped on the bandwagon, cheering her on for making a bold move. What I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. So they together, but they live in separate. And part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And it's only so much of these stories that Jay-Z can, you know, he can pay off or he can block. He won't be able to stop this. And she knows it and he knows it too. Um, as far as who's going to be 
the breakout victim slash story i i don't i don't know yeah i might have to ask jason lee i don't know but i'm just letting you know that once that comes out and jay-z is exposed for his nefarious past you're gonna see beyonce divorce him. okay and she's gonna she may or may not do an interview but you may you you're gonna um their publicist is gonna release something she's gonna say oh the carters have been separated for some time fans were buzzing with excitement at the prospect of beyonce making a break for it especially when storm hinted that jay-z was on the brink of some serious exposure and we're not talking about your run-of-the-mill scandals here like jay-z allegedly sabotaging careers or anything of the sort no we're talking major bombshells diddy level kind of stuff the kind of skeletons in the closet that could shake the whole industry. But what's really intriguing is that Storm wasn't the first one to suggest that Jay-Z was about to face some reckoning. Remember Cassie's explosive lawsuit that dragged Jay-Z's buddy Diddy into the spotlight for some truly shocking allegations? Well, Jaguar Wright wasn't about to let Jay-Z off the hook either. She came forward, dropping hints that Jay-Z was next in line for some serious exposure. According to her, the reason Jay-Z hadn't been outed yet was because he played it smart, way smarter and more cautious than Diddy ever did. Sean Carter is worse. Uh -oh. oh man he's smarter he's patient he's not sloppy mm -hmm. this he been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years you know what they say birds of a feather and all that stuff and it seems like there might be some truth to it because word on the street is that jay-z might just be as shady as diddy now considering the laundry list of accusations against diddy that's saying something so when rumors started swirling that beyonce was eyeing the exit let's just say there were more than a few folks breathing a sigh of relief now besides the whole age gap thing between beyonce and jay-z there's also the little matter of his wandering eye and we're not just talking about the whole becky with the good hair saga here? Nope, Jay-Z's been playing the field since day one of their relationship. According to the grapevine, Jay-Z wasted no time stepping out on Beyonce, with reports suggesting he was straying just months into their romance. And one of the names that keeps popping up in these rumors, none other than singer Charlie Baltimore. Now, if you've been keeping tabs on the drama, you've probably heard whispers about Charlie and Jay-Z cozying up behind Beyonce's back. For those not in the loop, Charlie used to be involved with rapper Notorious B.I.G., aka Biggie Smalls back in the day. Rumor has it that Charlie reached her breaking point playing second fiddle while Jay-Z flaunted his relationship with Beyonce, leading her to call it quits on their little tryst. But here's where things take a dark turn. Jay-Z didn't take the breakup well, and when he found out Charlie had moved on with another guy, things got ugly. Remember when Jay-Z got arrested for stabbing a dude in the club? Yeah, that happened. Jay-Z claimed the guy was bootlegging his album, but insiders, especially 50 Cent, are calling BS on that story. They're saying the real reason for the stabbing was because Jay-Z found out Charlie was dating the guy and he got jealous. I mean, getting mad at your ex for moving on when you're with Beyonce? That's next level crazy. And 50 Cent isn't just talking out of thin air. Rapper Cameron's come forward to back her up, confirming that the stabbing was indeed over Charlie. It, was, it wasn't over no money. It wasn't over being righteous. What was it over? A chick? What we don't do mm. is we don't f with our homies, ex bitch. Mm. Bow. You feel me? You know who that is now, right? He said bow. Charlie Baltimore. Charlie there you Baltimore. go. <laughs> Now let's talk about 50 Cent's take on the whole divorce situation, cause he's not exactly on team Beyonce. Nope, according to him, Beyonce might just be the villain everyone's been painting Jay-Z as. And let me tell you, 50 Cent's been in the mix of this drama for a while, with beef simmering between him, Jay-Z, and Beyonce for ages. So here's the lowdown on this whole mess, and trust me, it's both funny and petty, classic 50 Cent territory. You see, 50 Cent and Jay-Z's feud dates back to 99, when 50 dropped his hit track, How to Rob, and he didn't hold back taking shots at Jay-Z among a laundry list of other big name artists. Some say he did it for clout, cause let's be real, Jay-Z was already a big deal by then and 50 Cent was still making his way up the ladder. But hey, How to Rob put 50 Cent on the map, causing quite the stir. And let's be clear, Jay-Z wasn't the only target on that track. 50 Cent went after a whole bunch of other top artists too, from Lil' Kim to Foxy Brown, Diddy, Missy Elliott, Will Smith, you name it. Nobody was safe from 50's trolling antics.
politics. Oh yeah, the diss that set off fireworks in the hip hop world. In How to Rob, 50 Cent didn't hold back, throwing shade at Jay-Z with lines like, what, Jigga just sold like four milli? He got something to live for. Don't want a man putting four through that Bentley coupe door. Ouch, talk about hitting where it hurts. Now most of the artists targeted in the song fired back with their own clapbacks, and that was that. But Jay-Z, he's not the type to let things slide easily. He's got a memory like an elephant when it comes to grudges, and that's why this beef with 50 Cent has lasted so long. Eventually, Jay-Z decided to hit back with his own diss track. Enter, it's hot, some like it hot, where he didn't mince words, rapping, go against Jigga, you're dense, I'm about a dollar, what the F is 50 cents? Bam, shots fired right back, and just like that, the feud between these two heavyweights kept simmering. 50 Cent eventually admitted that he was chasing clout when he dissed Jay-Z and the other rappers, and in an interview with Rolling Stone, 50 Cent said, when he responded, I was complimented. He wouldn't say nothing back to somebody he didn't think was hot. I never went to radio until after he said that about me. I don't know if my career would be where it's at if he didn't respond. Anyway, back to the beef with Jay-Z. 50 Cent admitted that the reason he had a problem with Jay-Z was that Jay-Z felt like he was the greatest. In another interview, he said, he has a king complex. He thinks he's effing Jesus. You know what I mean? This Jehovah ish I'm just watching him. He said something one time I didn't like. Those little things, subliminal things. For me, that's the punk way to do things. Jay-Z tried to deny the rumors of the beef, saying that he and 50 were fine, but 50 was not about to let this narrative fly, and he was quick to come out and deny that he and Jay-Z were on good terms. He also claimed that they would never be friends, saying, we don't have those kinds of relationships. These people are people I associate with. We are in the same business. We are not necessarily friends. We don't call each other for no reason. Well, as it turned out, Beyonce was not a fan of 50 Cent constantly throwing digs at her man. Even though she and Jay-Z had not started dating when his beef with 50 Cent started, she still took Jay-Z's side and things got so messy that 50 Cent revealed that she even tried to fight him. Wait, what is she doing? That's, not, that's me and Jay-Z stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, girl. Don't come so who wasn't there? Me, I'm talking to Jay. Talking talking to Jay. Jay. Of course, 50 Cent being 50 Cent could not resist making a joke out of the situation. Yeah, I would have had to uh, reboot. <laughs> Like the idea of Beyonce squaring up with 50 Cent over Jay-Z, yeah, that's a wild image, no doubt, but it kind of sheds light on why 50 Cent is one of the few who doesn't see her as some innocent victim in this whole saga. Nope, he actually believes she's more than meets the eye, and not in a good way. In fact, 50 Cent goes as far as to claim that Beyonce might be worse than Jay-Z himself, suggesting she's been the mastermind behind a lot of the shady stuff they've been accused of. Allegedly, of course. Remember when Beyonce's former bodyguard spilled the tea, accusing her and Jay-Z of blackballing singer Carrie Hilson's career. Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. Okay, I get the threats, but you have to remember one thing. I know your deepest secrets. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got where you are how you stepped on the many people. Beyonce, how you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career because she said something about you. That's how hateful you guys are, how you step on anybody to stay on the top. Yeah, Jay-Z caught most of the heat for that, while Beyonce somehow dodged the spotlight. The bodyguard even went on to suggest that Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage was nothing more than a business arrangement, which, to be honest, didn't exactly shock a lot of folks, given the rumors swirling about their relationship. Your relationship was a business relationship, financial, to get to the top, to, be, be, to become billionaires. There's no love there. See, what's done in the dark will definitely come in the light. Keep your threats up. But according to 50 Cent, there's more to it than just business. He's been dropping hints about Beyonce's alleged sneaky side for a while now. Take, for instance, the case of Beyonce's former drummer, who came forward with some less than flattering accusations against her. But mysteriously, she went quiet after that, leading many to wonder just what Beyonce might be hiding behind the scenes. According to the drummer, whose name is Kimberly Thompson, Beyonce allegedly dabbles in the occult. She spoke to the Daily Beast, and the interviewer said, she claims that for some reason, Bay has started a campaign of harassment against her. That includes extreme witchcraft, dark magic, and magic spells of 
molestation. She also claims the Lemonade star murdered her kitten. Thompson believes Beyonce has been tapping her phones and controlling her finances. It's unclear why Thompson believes the singer is allegedly doing all this to her, but she is adamant it all stems from Bay. Kimberly also went live on Instagram to speak on Beyonce. The entire time, this person was casting spells and manipulating me and controlling my job situations, my relationships, all just a uh, uh, a very wicked uh, tactic to just keep me down and keep me under some type of control. Um. Yeah, the drama with Beyonce's former drummer definitely raised some eyebrows. At first, a lot of folks brushed off her accusations as just seeking attention or trying to ride Beyonce's coattails for clout. But when she took things a step further and filed a restraining order against Beyonce, well, that got people's attention real quick. Even 50 Cent sat up and took notice. But wait, there's more to this saga. Remember how I mentioned Jay-Z's been stepping out on Beyonce for years, and she's seemingly just been putting up with it? According to 50 Cent, she's not just sitting back and taking it. Nope. She's She's been quietly making moves behind the scenes. You know how Jay-Z went on and on about how they worked through their marriage after his infidelity, how they patched things up? Well, according to 50 Cent, there's more to that story. You know, for us, we chose to fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see, uh, you know, to break that, that cycle. Um, for black men and women, you know, just to see a different outcome, like you were saying. It's not this celebrity couple. We, we were never a celebrity couple. We were a couple who just happened to be celebrities. That's beautiful. Like, like real people. Yeah. Um. Well, 50 Cent's stirring the pot even more with these claims. According to him, family therapy wasn't the only thing that helped Beyonce and Jay-Z patch things up. Nope, there's allegedly another side to the story, and it's pretty scandalous. So here's the tea. 50 Cent's suggesting that Beyonce takes matters into her own hands when it comes to Jay-Z's side pieces, allegedly ruining their lives. And it's not just some idle gossip. Recent reports have surfaced suggesting Beyonce's involvement in Tiaira Marie's career downturn. Now, back in the day, everyone knew Jay-Z had a soft spot for Tiira, but we chalked it up to her undeniable talent. Let's talk about some of the artists, um, Tiara Marie. Yeah. Okay, and she's the first lady of the rock? She's the gonna... princess. Little did we know, there was more to the story. Rumor has it, Tiira wasn't just involved with Jay-Z. She was allegedly messing around with a few other guys too, despite not being legal at the time. I told you before, Aaliyah was SA'd as a minor by several producers and was treated like a piece of meat to be bought and sold by different producers up until the time that she passed away. A couple of years after she passed away, a fairly large record producer started making some calls about a singer he had working out of his studio. She was 15 and eager, and soon, different label heads were scouting her. And this is allegedly Tierra Marie. Soon, she was sold to this pseudo corn star and celebrity sibling. You can also take a guess at that one. He loves controlling vulnerable women. It is his specialty. Anyway, he started controlling the career of this singer. He brought her to the attention of this A-plus list rapper and mogul allegedly Jay-Z. According to a juicy blind item making the rounds, Beyonce caught wind of the affair and put her foot down, demanding Jay-Z cut ties with Tia Ira. But apparently that wasn't enough for Beyonce. Allegedly, she took it a step further and decided to sabotage Tia Ira's career as well. By the time all of the ink was dry, she was just shy of being legal. But that didn't stop the mogul. He liked to sample the new talent. He was sampling her on a fairly regular basis, but he was also involved with the current a list singer who was in his face every day. And this could allegedly be Beyonce. The thing is though, that corn star in charge of her career was feuding with the mogul and told the mogul he would not be allowed to hook up with the singer again. I assume he thought the mogul would think she was something special. Apparently not as special as the current a lister because the new signee was dropped and the word was put out on the street. No record deals for her from any label. When someone ignored the edict, they were paid a visit. If the visits were ignored, then other steps were taken. This was a total lockdown of a career that lasted almost a decade. Now, what makes this blind item even more intriguing is that L.A. Reid, the music exec overseeing Tiara and Rihanna at the time, once mentioned that Beyonce steered his attention toward Rihanna over Tiara. Seems like there's more to this than meets the eye. We had a showcase. And at the showcase, there were two artists performing. Her name is Tierra Marie, and she's a really sweet girl. And the truth is I was paying a little more attention to her than I was to Rihanna. After the showcase, you know, Beyonce just gave me one of those looks, and he said, that Rihanna girl, she's a beast. And she looked away, right? And I was like, 
So I did a Rihanna double take. Yeah, it's all getting pretty sneaky, isn't it? According to 50 Cent, though, that doesn't mean Jay-Z is completely innocent in all of this. Nope, he's allegedly got some skeletons in his closet that are about to come tumbling out, and that's supposedly the real reason behind Beyonce pulling the plug on their marriage. According to 50, Beyonce's not as innocent as we might have thought either. He's suggesting that Jay-Z's grand public gesture in support of Beyonce at this year's Grammys was nothing more than a desperate attempt to win her back and call off the divorce. It's music and it's opinion based, but you know, some things, you know, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. But 50 Cent's not buying it. He claims the divorce is happening because Beyonce has decided to let Jay-Z take the fall for whatever's about to be exposed, and she's making a swift exit before things get messy, even if it means tossing her longtime partner under the bus. Remember what the bodyguard said about their marriage being a matter of convenience? Well, according to 50 Cent, that convenience is wearing thin for Beyonce right now, and she's ready to move on, no matter the cost, especially now that Jay-Z's bestie Diddy is getting investigated by Homeland Security and rumors of him snitching on Jay-Z. Fans left comments saying, she only leaving cause his closet is about to be cleaned out. She knows what's in the closet though. She may even have some items in there. Beyonce is complicit in this mess. She knows more than what she is telling. Personally, I am done with the whole mess. And one thing I love about 50 is he tells the truth when exposing someone. They never sue him. Think about it. Yeah, this situation is a hot mess and 50 is being super bold by spilling this tea because y'all know that Beyonce and Jay-Z don't like it when people speak about them. But let me know how you feel about this situation and then check out this next video.